Hello and welcome to today's video which will hopefully show you how to use some more advanced searching techniques on the University of Liverpool library. You can find a link to the library on the Facebook page above this video and let's go ahead and take a look at the library homepage now. Okay, so this is the library homepage. You can see that I have already logged in so you should already be well aware of your login details and how to log in by now. You can see across the top, there's a lot of different options um, of the different resources they have here. And we're going to take a little bit of a look at some of these later on today. First of all, I want to show you how you can find articles on the library database if there's no PDF full text option. In the first video that I made about searching, I told you to click on the PDF full text option if you wanted to read an article. But many of our students have told us that sometimes it's not always available and they find that a little confusing. So for example, if we type marketing into the search box and we select peer review only, as always, to ensure we get a good quality of article, and then we click on search. One more time. Now, uh, it might take a little bit of time for these articles to load depending on the speed of your internet access. So, as per the first video, I told you to click on PDF full text if you want to view the article. However, as you can see here on the second article, there is no PDF full text option. In this case, click on the Find It at Liverpool option. A new page should open. And here you can see various information about the article. The most important stuff is here, full text available. If it doesn't say this, there is a chance that it's not part of um, the online database that you can access, but that should be quite rare. Here you can see the year, volume, issue number, start page, and finally the option that says go. If you click on go, you'll be taken to the article page. You can either view full text, which will be in HTML, may be a good idea for those of you who have slow internet access or you can choose download full text which will give you a PDF copy to save to your computer. Okay so that's how you find an article if there's no PDF full text option on the search results. Next we're going to show you how to use the e-resources. If you've been using the library um, for quite some time or for the last few weeks at least you might become more familiar with using it, more confident with your searching, and maybe you want to try something a little bit different, expand the quality or, or expand the variety of articles you're finding. And you can do this using the e-resources. This discover box is just like the box that we use on the first page, so we're going to scroll down, and here we can see um, search e-journal platforms. Now this can open up a few different options for us. What I'm going to show you first of all is how to search using Google Scholar. If you take the drop down and select Google Scholar, again, type in what you want to look for. Let's say this time we want to look for public relations. And we click on go. It gives us a list of public relations articles. I'm going to move this up a little bit so we can see it better. Okay, that looks good. So you can see here, this, this is them in the format of Google. Now, a lot of our students are more familiar with Google than they are with the library. Um, so this might be something that you're comfortable with. If you want to find it in the library, you can check library catalog. And time to time, you'll actually see here a link, direct link to the document not quite so often. So if you want to find it, you want to check the library catalog to see it's available. The reason I suggest this type of searching is because I know the Google format is so familiar to everybody, it can be quite a comfortable way of doing it. Okay. Another option is you can see here, you can um, narrow your search based on what it is you're looking for. So if you're studying a business class or a law class, education, technical, which um, would be IT, computing, you can select that. You can select those options. And then you can select by the collection. Now you can see here there's lots of different collections. 
The one that we used on the first page was EBSCO. So you might want to consider trying Emerald, GSTOR. We already saw Taylor and Francis. Like I said, it might just, if, if you find it, or Sage is also another quite famous one. If you find that you're getting um, good results from one of these particular areas every time, then maybe you want to narrow your search result by it. Maybe all the articles you get are from Taylor and Francis. So maybe you want to try and just search for Taylor and Francis and just search for business articles. That might give you fewer results, but that are more related to your question, more related to your search results. Okay. Now, finally, I want to show you how you can find an article using the Citation Finder. Sometimes with an article, maybe it's something that's been suggested in your classroom or it has an awkward title or for whatever reason you can't find it. As long as you have a reference, you can use this citation finder. You need to put in the journal name, the volume, the issue number, the start page and the year. Now you don't have to enter all of this information, just what you have. So maybe if you're missing some pieces of information, you can just try your best and put in what you know. But you'll almost certainly need the journal title or something quite similar to it. If, for example, we put in the Journal of Applied Linguistics, you know, volume number two, issue number one, and the year 2009, and click on Go. Okay, you see full text is available via EBSCO Communication Mass Media Complete. We click on Go. In this case, the article was not found. But this is good. This gives us an example of what you can do if you can't find the article. It's going to tell you to correct any misspellings or any of the data fields below. So you want to go ahead and check them. Alternatively, if you keep trying that and it doesn't work, it might be a sign that the article isn't available in full text format. So what we can do, if you believe that the full text isn't available, you want to contact the librarian. If you go to contacts, scroll down to find contact libra librarian and use the online web form. Explain here using your name, your card number, that you're an off-campus student, that it's a library inquiry with an online user with Laureate, and then you can put in the problem that you're having. Explain that you're looking for an article, give them as much information as possible, and tell them that you can't find it and you'd like to confirm whether or not it is available to Laureate students in full text format. Okay, so hopefully that has given you a few more tools in your library arsenal, which you can, you can go and take and try and improve your search results. As always, if you've got any questions about using the library or you would like some assistance, just let us know on this Facebook page or contact your student advisor. Again, if you can't find an article and you want to find out whether or not the full text is available, contact the librarian just like I showed you. Thank you, good luck and goodbye.